Wait, right, that at least gives us our air back and we can get a little health back. Not much, though. Just to show you. Oh, wait, you actually can wander wing across the lava. I forgot about that. Never mind. I forget a lot about this world, apparently. Oh, man, the dragon is actually trying to aim for where he thinks we're going to go. That's actually very intelligent on his part, and I don't like it. Ouch! And that is why you don't step in the scalding hot lava. So the tunnel here gives us a couple notes. Wooden ladder and lava world. That's probably not a good idea. Oh, look! Yikes! <laughs> yeah, those two lava hands are so close together, it's very difficult to get past them. Alright, new move for 740 notes. Or, sorry, 640. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing that flea bag with you to learn this one! Why, you cheeky! Yeah, we gotta get here with just Banjo. That's definitely gonna be tricky. Youch! There's a jiggy behind that gate over there. Opening it is actually one of the very few jiggies I have never gotten in this game. I know how it's done, I've just never been able to pull it off, so that's gonna be interesting. Coliseum Kickball Stadium Lobby. Yes, this giant coliseum is for kickball. Remember how we did that in the Mayahem Temple? Yeah, there's another version of this. Okay. Well, this is probably a mean joke. Oh, look, it's a mean joke. It's quite dark in here. It's hard to see. Everybody's cheering, yeah. Gold feathers are actually, I forgot, very useful in this world because you can go across the lava with it. Cracked wall over here. Let's grenade it open. And there's claw clamber boots inside. We can use these to scale up this pillar. And boy, howdy, is there a lot to scale. This leads us to a special place out here. Where does this lead again? The, Col the Colosseum can be a bit of a maze. Ah, yes. Cheeto page. Thank you. I think that's the only thing this high up. Blah. What's in here? Oh, that's right. We'll go through there later. There's a lone chain we can climb up over here. And these little gargoyles will spy on us and uh, come to life and spit the fireballs at us. Like that. It's not the dragon. Where does this lead? Ah, leads outside, eh? I actually could use some honeycombs, so thank you, buddy. There's just a lot to this world. It's actually quite spacious. It's definitely not as vertical as Grunty Industries, but... There's still a ton to explore. The worlds in this are quite large. Okay, take that. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. It's a little too dark in this room. Hey, look, it's a stony. Aswig, wig, 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 pause, Oh, no, not this again. 
Yep, stonies are back. So, um, looks like we're going to need Wumba to turn us into a stony again in order to get through here. Yep, stony kickball apparently has a circuit in Hailfire Peaks as well. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to have to find a Wumba in this world and get her to turn us into a stony again. Yeah. Okay, where's the chain? We can climb up much higher on this chain. Ouch. Wait, it wouldn't even let me recover from that? Alright. That does it. In your face. Yeah, grenade egging the gargoyles can be a good idea if you don't want to deal with the annoying fireballs that they constantly spit at you. Does that seriously not lead anywhere? Well, the camera's not cooperating with me at all, so... No, it looks like there's nothing we can do there. Youch! That's gonna hurt, Kazooie. Alright, well... Let's get out of here. There's not much we can do in here anyways. At least not until we can turn ourselves into a stony. That Jiggy over there is one of the few Jiggies I have not been able to get in this game before, so we're going to try to change that at some point in this Let's Play. But in the meantime, there's just so much here in Hellfire Peaks that we just kind of got to keep exploring. So we've only found two different warp pads, one here near the entrance and then one on the upper side of the fire area. Alright, we still need to learn the new move from Jam Jars, so let's split these guys apart. Now, I found that the best way to get the new move is to drop down, is to like get above where the silo is and then drop on top of it. Yikes, no, 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 no. Ouch, get cooked alive. Alright, I should have slept to refill my HP. That's okay, it'll spawn us back at that split up pad, so we really didn't lose any time. No. Stop it! Ah! Yeah, if you thought the enemies here were annoying as Banjo and Kazooie, oh, they are so much worse as just Banjo. Definitely make use of the double jump pack lack of move. Even then, it's still, um... Still can be a pain in the butt to navigate this area. Again, one of the many reasons why I consider Hailfire Peaks to not only be tougher than Grunty Industries, but to be the toughest world in the entire game. World 8 doesn't really have anything on this. World 8 is a breeze compared to this. For the most part. There's uh, one or two things in World 8 that are really annoying, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. Pack Whack cannot hurt those guys. We can do the double jump Pack Whack, though, to escape from them. Yeah, these stupid... I, I hate the little imp guys who just laugh at you everywhere. Their laugh is so annoying. Yeah. Oh man, we missed the silo. It's over there! No, 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 no! Oh, we did. Actually, no, maybe we're not. This new move is immensely important, so we need to get it. Short nap can make you feel a lot better. Alright, yeah, we're gonna jump out, do the pack whack, jump back, jump out, do the pack whack, jump back. 
Imagine trying to navigate through this without being able to, without knowing about this little pack whack jump glitch. It would be so much more difficult. You're supposed to literally just outweigh the hands. You're supposed to just wait for the hands to disappear. All right, jump, pack whack, and then jump again. Boom. Silo. Not the intended way, but it's definitely the easiest way. Shack pack. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps and in a wall. First hold Z, then press down C. Protected in liquids you will be. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, so the shack pack is a very versatile multi-purpose move, yeah. Instead of having to avoid all these lava hands. Which I guess you can do, again, with the pack whack glitch, but imagine having to get through this without knowing about it. Absolutely insane. Yeah, the shack pack allows us to compress down to literally just our pack and move around as just our pack. And this is a very good move. Has a lot of different uses. Uh, for one, it makes us smaller, which means we can fit through tiny holes. We can also walk through lava in it. And we can go through the scalding hot water in it as well. So there's scalding hot water right down here. Yeah, what the What? Excuse me, I was... Oh, it's because I took fall damage. Shack Pack does still take fall damage. Anyhow, there's a Banjo-only switch down here. H2O. Come on! Are you serious? That stupid dragon has impossibly good aim. Let's get on the switch. That water's far too hot for our swimming pool! Yeah, so this is the water that is connected to the other pipe in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Yeah, it's filled with hot water to actually heat up their pool, except right now the water is too hot. It's literally going to boil them alive if we put it in. So, yeah, we literally can't, still can't help the pigs with their pool. We have to literally wait until we go to the World 8. Uh, anyways, I am getting very sick of this world already. This is... It's a really cool design, but man, it's such a pain in the butt to go through. Anyhow, I'm sure you guys have seen it. You guys are very smart viewers. You've seen a couple of these uh, doorways in this world that are very blue. Also, for the people who are very astute, they were, you guys remember well, we technically found the Mega Globo in World 7, and that was not a fiery world. Well, get ready for the main gimmick of Hailfire Peaks. As the name implies, there are two sides. There's the lava side, and then an icy side. Scanners indicate location of kids evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting earthling crosswind. Be careful. Yikes, I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady. Activate jetpack. Ouch. Blah. Never mind, I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Oof, that was graphic. Yep, an alien literally dies on screen in this game. It's kind of dark. Yeah, so, main gimmick of Hail Player Peaks. There are two sides to the level. There's a fiery side and an icy side. It's really cool. So it's like the ice world and the lava world rolled into one. I really like it. It's really cool. It's got great music. Very beautiful. The icy side is a lot easier to navigate than the fiery side because there's no lava everywhere. It's just ice physics. And also these yetis that attack us. They have a lot of HP, but they're significantly easier to deal with than the lava side of these. What cheek! Fancy trespassing on my glacier without my permission. Boy, are you going to suffer. Yep, there's an ice dragon, too. Also, thank you, condo neighbors, for constantly opening and closing the garage door during my recording. <laughs> Yep, so now the ice dragon is going to chuck ice cubes at us, which has the same effect basically as the fireballs on the lava side. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. We're very nice Yeti. Oh, hey, big Yeti up here. I'm bigger foot. I have an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. <laughs> this is big a foot. Let's beat him up. Never mind. Packs quite a wallop, doesn't it? I'm real proud of my enormous foot. Is that so big a foot? Shrugging off fire. Shrugging off fire. Shrugs off an explosion, too. How about more eyes? Uh oh. Bigafoot's foot just got even bigger. No! Oh, ah! My poor enormous foot! Where's the first aid kit? Aw, oh, poor Bigafoot. All that just because we needed to get his claw clamber boots. Yeah, you've got to basically wait there until the ice dragon spits a chunk of ice at you. And then he'll hit Bigafoot instead. Anyhow, we can climb up here with these. And there's a way that leads back to the fireside. Ouch! I hate the lava hands. All right, and here, ooh, we're in the lava side train station. How oh, nice. Hey, Gobi. Gobi, I want to talk to you. Gobi's like, I hate you guys. Get, go away. All right, fine, Gobi. Chuffy is on freight service to Grunty Industries. Yeah, remember, the doors are still shut here. We have not found the train switch. Ouch. There's just so much lava in this world, man. Oh, I see... I see a secret ledge over there. There we go. Eh, we actually avoided the Snapdragon. Now we get a hollow honeycomb piece. Oh, we probably could have gotten a health extension from Honeybee. Whoops! I didn't realize how many of those we had. Anyhow, that's the Lava Side train station. That's pretty cool. I think the entrance is actually in part of the Coliseum. Yep. Built into the side of the Coliseum. It's actually right next to where we entered the icy side from. Youch! You also notice we haven't seen any mumbo pads around yet. That's because all of the mumbo pads on this stage are on the icy side. Despite Mumbo's skull being on the lava side. The Yetis make some very interesting sounds. That ginger over there is actually real, but that wind is blowing us away so we can't reach him. Oh, no. Here comes Mr. Ice Dragon back for more. Say, fun game. Can you guys guess who the boss of the world is? Ratatat Rap allows you to open up these ice blocks pretty easily. There's some split-up pads over there. 
more importantly, there's a warp pad over here. Definitely get those warp pads up and running as soon as possible. The ice physics on the ice the ice physics on the icy side are a little annoying to work with, but it's I would take it over the copious amounts of lava on the fire side. And the exceedingly annoying enemies on the lava side as well. So here's where the giant oil pipeline is. You'll remember that signpost in the volcano said that the oil rig needed a ball of great size in order to activate it. That switch looks rusty! You'll need more weight! Okay, we'll got, we gotta go put some rocks in our pockets. No, you're gonna need a lot of weight. Like, even more than the washing machine. Hey, there's a jiggy over through this uh, cave wall. Unfortunately, we can't grab that. In fact, there's a very unorthodox way of actually picking up that jiggy. By that I mean that's the intended way, is the unorthodox way. All right, back to the lava side. No, ouch! Okay, we've already been over here. There's like half of the icy side that we're still missing. We haven't explored yet. 